What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. I didn't think you had it in you. I'm your huckleberry. Carmen in the building. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So listen, man, doing? I, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. This this viral clip is going around hot. It's hot mm -hmm. in here. It is hot in these schools, man. It's hot with these 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 students, these juveniles. It's hot. I mean, yes, let, it is. I mean, welcome to the classroom. Welcome to 2023. <laughs> I mean, back in the 80s, yeah. back in the 80s, I graduated in 88. Shout out to the class of 88, Glenville High School, Cleveland, Ohio. My son, class of 14, shout out to, shout out to them. My sister, class of 90-something. <laughs> I should know that, but yeah. uh, Glenville, Glenville alum straight across the building. When I went to school, we did not have... None of these problems, none of these modern problems. When we went to school, our teachers was the security guards, like like the gym teacher, like mm -hmm. Mr. Mr. Cut Diesel was the, the 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 person that sat at the at the door checking us in. We didn't have no monitors. We didn't have no no, no, no detectors, metal detectors. We didn't even have children bringing knives, guns, or any of that to school. When we got into a fight, we got into a three o'clock fight. This was like, like that old school movie where dude said, I'll meet you at three o'clock in the playground, bruh. You and me, we're going to have a fight today after school. Three o'clock in the parking lot. You try and run, I'm gonna track you down. You go to a teacher, it's only gonna get worse. And you'll go throughout the whole school like, how am I gonna get out of this? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we are in a new day and in a new age where school is not respected and viewed like it used to be. No, it Teachers isn't. Aren't respected and viewed like it used to be. There's not a healthy fear of teachers. The village is gone, um, mm. which is why we have incidents such as a lot of school shootings. Um, mm. In our state, there has to be a police officer or some type of monitor on every campus, mm. and which is why you see an increase of violence against teachers, such as the one that's going viral right now. Back what? in our day, like you didn't go to the teacher's desk and behind the, in the teacher's personal area, you were what? afraid to touch the teacher. You, you, you. Back in my day. We we put our hands on the teacher. We got squats or swatted, you know, oh, yeah. capital punishment. Well, people don't want nobody to touch their kids anymore. And while corporate punishment is not illegal in Florida, um, people don't, won't support it. So the school systems, it has to be in place by the school, by the county. But people aren't going to support it because everybody has the mentality and nobody can touch my child. But they're not touching their child either. So there's no respect for teaching. Parents to get mad, though, if, if the teachers are touch their child, but what if it's but what if mm -hmm. it's in vice versa? What if it's in this situation right here? This young lady, this young teacher was 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 in uh uh what do you call that word? It's it's on the tip of my tongue. Uh self defense mode. The the students swung right. at her. Yeah, and she was in her personal space, like really close to her, violating her personal space over and over again. Um, but teacher think, people think teachers are superhuman, like we're supposed to just have this magical level of patience and tolerance and be able to train to not react 
but they forget we're just like them. We're people. And what people need to realize is like you call us glorified babysitters and everything else. But when they had their kids home for COVID or there's a break, y'all want y'all kids back in the school because y'all don't want to deal with y'all own kids. But they think we're supposed to have patience and we're human. We have boundaries, we have rights, and we should be respected, but we're not. They rather pay athletes more than they pay teachers, and it's ridiculous. You know, so when you know, Carmen. Respect for the classroom at home, it, the kids feel that. You know, Carmen, after after watching this video and many others like this, because this ain't the this this ain't the first time a young teacher been a been attacked in school. Um, you're a school mm-hmm. teacher. You've been rocking out with uh with many a kids. I mean, you you seen the video. Was was the teacher in her right to protect herself? Yes, I absolutely believe in anybody else. Who says otherwise is crazy. Oh, she's a teacher. She should know better than that. They should have more training. We go to school to tra- and we're trained to teach, not to be in combat. <laughs> we're not in the army. We're not on the police force. We get trained to teach. I'm not coming to work to get beat up. And I, anybody put their hands on me, I'm going to smile in the mugshot. That's all I'm going to say. Like, I'm going to smile in the mugshot. I'm going to defend myself. Well, you say you I had a little child hit last year. <laughs> you say you yeah, listen. <laughs> Listen, get, I'm, I'm going to smile I'm, in the mouth shot. Mm-hmm. I had a little girl hit me last year, and I was like, who hand bigger, mine or yours? Like, do you want me to hit you? If I can't hit you, don't put your hands on me. But these older kids think they they rough and tough, and she got her behind to up and then was crying for somebody to help her. You weren't crying when you swung. You were not crying when you swung. So keep that same energy, boo-boo. Keep that same energy. Carmen says keep that same energy when you swing. Don't don't expect mm-hmm. not to get swung back, you know. And that's what mm-hmm. the, and that's what a lot of these that's what a lot of these juvenile kids think that they can they can walk up on a teacher and 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 press up on them and not and not yeah. expect to get to get uh uh to get pushed back. But uh-huh. you know another you thing invincible. you know another thing too is is kind of messed up. I mean now this is more of a social media world than anything. Like when we went to school, we didn't even have cell phones. Like when we when we didn't even right. have cell phones. Like when my son went to school, he had to put his cell phone up, vibrate, keep it in the pocket. But nowadays, now kids got their cell phones out and all on the phone, you know, sneak recording and all like that. And and yeah, but that's what it's all generated. She wanted her cell phone back. Uh, right, she wanted because, her cell she phone was, back. because she was uh, because we we don't know what happened prior, but it's all stem about the cell phone. Obviously, she must have been taking pictures or or recording mm-hmm. the teacher or whatever the case. Because that's what these these modern kids do now. It's it's not about going in there learning anything. It's about going in there and say, oh, but well, look at what my teacher got on today, or look at listen to what my teacher's talking about today, mm-hmm. or try to put the teacher on blast and all like that. That's what For it is now. Yep. Yep. It's 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 crazy. But. It's crazy, man. But uh but you feel uh before we get up out of here and thank you for your time. But you feel that that the teacher was in the right. What what do you say about what what do you say about the student though? I mean, what what was your what was your advice be for young teachers nowadays? Because nowadays you you just don't know. Let me before you mention that, there was a comment that says that these teachers know I mean, these teachers know what to expect now. Do do these teachers no. really expect to go to school to get their ass whooped every day? No. My job as an educator is to come teach. I teach first grade. Next year I'll teach fifth grade. My job is to teach. Nowhere in my job description does it say get beat up or have hands put on me. That's not the expectation. And for people who believe that should be the expectation, you're failing your children at home. Because just like that, look at that teacher who got shot by the six-year-old. She should not have to go and work in fear. None of us should have to go to work in fear that a child is going to do something to us or try to hurt us or retaliate because they don't like what we say. That's not what we came into this field for. And it's already hard to retain teachers and to hire teachers because less and less people are going into the field. So we don't sign up for that. There needs to be a newfound respect for education. 
Um, and it needs to be, we need to be honored. In other countries, people put teachers on pedestals that the American culture does not. We are glorified babysitters and people feel like we are expected to be held to this higher standard for this minimum pay. Mm-hmm. My job is to teach. I'm not going to be anybody's punching bag or any other um, tool to be used to be weaponized and, and beat up. But that's not what I come to work for. I come to teach. Getting my behind whoop is not a part of my job description. So I'm not going to do it. For the young lady, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. You run up and you found out. Really? You got that saying that say F around and find out? F around and find out. The only, my only advice to that teacher, she was a substitute. Hey, baby, what pants next time? Because your booty was out. That's why the little boys ain't want to ain't wanna stop the fight because they was getting booty views. So it was like fight or booty. It's like your booty. It's like your booty. <laughs> it's blurred. You know, I I, I, I oh, played the video. Got, got yeah, I, I had to blur, they you know, because for YouTube, you know, YouTube probably might yeah. have some feelings about that. So I had to blur out the yeah. booty cheeks. But yeah, yeah that that's yeah, why was, that's why the young men that's why the young men there didn't like, want to no, hurry up and run out <laughs> and, and, and get somebody to help because they was all in them mm-hmm. booty cheeks, you know. Yeah, but but it wasn't about the booty. But let's let's bring it back. It wasn't about the booty cheeks, and I I hated to see yeah. her booty cheeks exposed like that. You know, yeah. you know. That was my but, only advice. Dress, dress a little bit. You know, have yeah. some longer pants on, something like yeah. a longer skirt. Which I mean, she didn't go to work with that intent on right. having to defend herself. Right. But keep your hands to yourself. That goes for anybody because. If she, if somebody wasn't in the classroom, if you hit somebody in the street like that, you, same thing gonna happen to you. Mm, facts. What do you? What over overall though? What do you? What do you? What do you think uh, will probably happen uh, for for the teacher and for the student? Well, I'm, I'm assuming. I'm, I'm assuming as far as the student, it, you know, they he'll uh, she'll probably get expelled or something like that. But what do you think yeah, might happen to the yeah. teacher? Uh, my, my prayer is that nothing negative happens to the teacher, um, that she can um, maintain her job and still work and still be employed. And hopefully it'll be a learning curve for other students. Keep your hands to yourself. And for that student, it's a, she's getting to the point where she's not getting any younger. She has to understand for every action, there's a reaction and there's going to be consequences, whether good or bad, to your actions. And that was a um, teachable moment. Learn to keep your hands to yourself and respect your elders. Like that's that's just something that we all need to go back to the basics to respect your elders and do what you need to do. All right. Go to school, don't have your phones out and it was a teachable moment. But I hope that the school does not fire the teacher and and pink people need to understand that we're not superheroes. We don't come to work to get beat up on and our patience is just like yours. We're normal human beings, there's only so much we're gonna take. Now, had she sat there and got beat up, it would have been a whole other situation. We just had a teacher break her leg um, trying to get a child off of her. So it's, it's just, you can say, if, if we don't do anything, it's a problem if we do anything. We're never going to be able to please people, and I just feel like it's only going to get worse. It's right. only going to get worse because these kids don't have a healthy fear of, of educators anymore. Carmen, thank you for your time and your wisdom. Thank you very much, ma'am. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to let you go. And uh, get back to your classroom, and I'm going to get back here to finish. Hopefully, get loaded, and uh, next time we'll we'll come back together on an, uh, on another topic. I appreciate it. All right, have a good one. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you. Take it easy. I just wanted to say though, in all my 22 years, never have I ever experienced what I experienced this Monday. I've never been attacked by young folks. I love young people. This is why I work with them. I have a heart for them. That young lady attacked me, and she went for blood. But I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. She was in my space. She was behind the desk. I followed protocol for whoever said that I touched her first. Okay? And I tried to call for an administrator or somebody at the office three times. But never in my 22 years working with young people have I ever been attacked. But let me tell you something. These, within a month, there has been 
a teacher that was knocked unconscious with her head kicked in. Uh, um, twice, two teachers. Another teacher got a gun pulled on her. As much as I love the kids, I cannot put my life or my livelihood in danger. Oh, yes, I'm being faced with charges as well. As well, behind this. And so, if I get a charge on my record, there goes my career again. Period. Feel there's something in the air tonight. Got a feeling coming over me. I swear that this is that place to be in the water. In the, the water. In the water.